Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome, my Leo friends and friends of Leo, cross watchers, to the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot. I'm Zachary. Thank you for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, this is your reading for December, the whole dang month, December 2023. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started shuffling for your spirit animal energy, and we'll get into your uh, meditation channel messages as well. And then we'll go into the tarot for your general reading. Spirit, what do we have for Leo? For December 2023. What do we have? I've got, um, I'll be posting this a few days before the end of December here. I still have my 2.5 thousand subscriber contest going on. That link will be in the description. So feel free to enter if you guys would like. I'm giving away two free readings. And I do also have my website up and going. Paid readings are available as well. That link will be in the description as well as a pinned comment. So feel free to take a look. Ooh, lizard regeneration. You guys are healing from something. We'll see what the message is that comes through here. But lizard regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. Yes. So in your, um, in your meditation, I saw right away was... Uh, the Egyptian eye. So there are two eyes. There's the eye of Ra and there's the eye of Horus, and they both have different meanings. Essentially, it's it's a balance. So one is one is feminine, one is masculine. Together, they make the eyes of Thoth, and the eyes of Thoth are. Uh, but the meaning of that is to be able to perceive that which others cannot. But right away, what it pointed me to was the third eye. So the Egyptian eye itself is actually like a cross section of your brain <laughs> and what that looks like going straight to your third eye. So um, there's something about your inner vision needing to tap into that, maybe expanding that as well. Like there, there is some expansion going on. I'm posting this just before the full moon in Gemini, which is something coming to a close. Um, Next, I saw uh, like a T pin, so something that you would pin like a boutonniere to your shirt or lapel, wherever you're wherever you're putting a boutonniere. Okay. At first, I saw a rose, so that felt very much like bringing bringing love closer to home is what that felt like to me. And then um, any sort of flower coming through on that it was also a topic of bringing nature closer to home, which is kind of the same thing. So that's the message that came through for you guys, Leo. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we have next. Spirit, what do we have for Leo for December 2023? And thank you guys, as always, for your love and support. I love you so much. And thank you for letting me support you here as, as I do in this way. This has been a fantastic journey. And um, I've, I've very much been enjoying doing this. So please... If you feel up to it, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comment. Those are all fantastic ways to support me. And it helps get my message out to those who need to hear it. I know, I mean, Spirit's been doing a great job of that already. <laughs> I just feel encouraged to also say that. It tells the algorithm that you guys are enjoying the content and you want to see more of that. And that is very, very helpful to me. So thank you. Thank you so much for doing that. I do also have my PayPal and Cash App links in the description there. If you do want to donate or tip, um, I am truly grateful for that. It is not mandatory, but it is deeply appreciated. And those that have, thank you so, so much. It's very helpful. So let's see here. All right. I feel very in tune with this one already. This is going to be a good one. You guys are ready to celebrate something. And my note, you, I said this in one of the other videos, it never fails as soon as I start recording, my nose just starts itching. And I think that's somebody talking about you. <laughs> so you guys, I don't know, someone's talking about me. It's probably just watching this video. It's a lot of, a lot of chatter. <laughs> um, but anyway, three of cups here. So this is success. This is celebrating something, hanging out with your friends and celebrating. I feel very much that you guys are you're either getting close to this or you're hoping for success in something. You're hoping for a reason to celebrate. Maybe you're just bored and need some, some fun. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, Leo. Ooh, the Three of Swords. Maybe you have had maybe you have had some owies recently. 
Spirit, what do we have for Leo here for December? Waiting for an opportunity. Mm. Feel free to check out your rising moon and Venus as well. Any major placements in your chart get you a more complete picture of what's going on in your life. Moon is going to be your emotional inside realm. Venus is the way you connect with others. So both are fantastic for love if you're looking for some information on that. Okay. Or do whatever, Leo. You are sovereign, and I love that about you. I love that about you. I feel like you guys are, and this message was coming through either a couple of readings ago or in this last one. Um, there's been a fear of like taking a break or an aversion to it. Needing to take a rest for some reason. And it may be because you're working too hard. Maybe the success, I feel like this is a very similar message. The success that you're hoping for, you've been pushing and pushing and pushing and you're tired. And I feel like you're taking that being tired, your body going home, home boy or home girl, <laughs> home binary human. I is tired. Okay. And I need to take a rest. And you're taking that as like a personal challenge. <laughs> Stop doing that. If that's, if that's uh, applying to you, but yes, I feel like there is a, uh, licking your wounds is a part of this after something has happened. You may be averse or avoiding looking at what is hurting as well. That's why you don't want to take a break because taking a break means you'll have to face whatever's going on in your mind. Let's continue. So your general energy here, you've got eight of pentacles and the empress. Yeah. Um, very, I'm very much getting that eight of pentacles is a hard worker. There's a warning of burnout. So I feel like, hmm, Yep, <laughs> what I just said there to some of you, you guys are trying to avoid introspection. And the Empress here is the divine feminine. She is the receptive energy. She would be the introspective one. Venus, there's component of love. There's self-love attached to what I'm feeling like is there's this like a mix up or confusion of, you know, you, you're pushing yourself to do this work whatever that work is, that work could be work, you know, whatever you're doing as a career, making money, it could be a hobby, it could be a side project, it could be um, taking care of an, a relationship, like whatever that this work is to you. Expending energy in a, in a masculine way, the divine masculine, which would be the emperor. So empress here is going to be your, you're being encouraged to cool it. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, like there's a concern with the regeneration. I do feel like uh, maybe, maybe you're trying to put some distance between something that happens. When I think about with the lizard is the tail being cut off and that, that being regenerated. And the tail is a major component of balance for the lizard. So I feel like, you know, for some of you, you've, you've had your tail cut off. Are you a survivor? Yes. Are you unparalleled? Absolutely. There's this notion, though, too, in our society, in our environment, societies, that like you pick yourself up by the bootstraps, you know, rub some dirt in it or whatever, whatever. <laughs> um, that sucks, you guys. And that's really dumb, to be honest with you. I'm not saying to um, stay in a puddle on the floor either. There is a nice balance. We're talking about balance here. Divine masculine and divine feminine balance. That is what's needed. Pick yourself up by the bootstraps. That's divine masculine only. Sit in a puddle on the floor. That's divine feminine only. Re waiting to receive something. We need a good mix. Okay. So what I'm feeling here is you need to take a break. There's a need to, to go inside. Inside, Leo. My Leo friend. To go inside and and tend to what is going on. Can we get some more information here on the general energy for Leo? Cause I feel like, I feel like there is an opportunity for something that you may end up missing because you aren't 
what am I trying to say? Your, your ability to t tune in is fried. Like you're tired. You don't have enough juice to, to like pick up what it is that you need to pick up. Um, and that's also because the 10 of wands here. So 10 of wands talks about needing to put down something, something that's weighing heavy on the heart. You're starting a new journey. You've come to the end of a journey. You need to put something down, good, bad, whatever, experience, tchotchkes, <laughs> so that you have space in your pockets to pick up new things, new skills, new energies. Two of Cups is also coming through here. So I do feel like Divine, um, divine Counterpart could be a component for some of you. The Empress is one of the Divine Counterparts. Maybe you've been working... Maybe you've been working toward, maybe you've lost a divine counterpart and you're working to replace that. That's kind of what I'm getting with the eight of pentacles. Like you're diligently working here. You're putting skill toward an activity. You're, you're working to <laughs> turn this tree into pentacles, straw into gold, a shitty situation into something that is a bit more palatable. Um, Regardless, though, I feel like there's an opportunity to start something new relationship wise, either relationship with yourself, relation, a business, maybe a new job could be a divine counterpart. You may have an opportunity to meet somebody else because what we lose, we also gain. It just doesn't happen on its own. You know what I'm saying? Like we have to allow we are still the, the keepers of the energy that comes and goes within us. There are things happening around us, but we, we have to decide to let them in. So whatever it is that's been lost, if this is applying to you, is also available there to gain, but you have to allow it in. And part of allowing it in is making sure that that frequency matches what is coming in. You can't put, I mean, like technically you can in that little toy, but you can't put a, a square peg in a round hole, right? That square peg has a high frequency and you may have whatever your round hole is a lower frequency they're not going to be able to to you're not going to be able to let that in crude and rudimentary example i understand but um i think that you understand what i'm saying here too so knight of swords knight of swords talks about something coming in i i feel very much like there, there's an opportunity there's a this is the energy that you're you've lost coming in this is wonderful, you guys. Actually, I'm loving this. And the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is um, closely attached to the Eight of Pentacles, too. You have uh, a pragmatism towards the work that you're doing. Like, you have a plan. You know it's going to take consistent work to produce whatever it is that you're producing. Expansion, growth. The recommendation that I'm getting here is to balance the energy that you're putting in. So this, there's a warning of burnout here, right? You might be on the verge of burnout. You're afraid to take a rest. It may be because you're afraid to listen to your own heart and mind and soul. That is a skill, you guys, that the sooner that you get comfortable with the discomfort in life, the better off you'll be. <laughs> Leaning into discomfort is why we're here, to learn. To learn um but i feel like with the knight of pentacles as well like there's an offer there's an offer of some sort coming in because you've lost your tail like i said something has to be something has to be replaced you're owed can we get some clarification on the general energy for leo please spirit release release grudges wounds and pent-up feelings through healthy activities so i feel like um like to bring it back to that balance of with the empress being here, the divine feminine, what is a healthy activity? Let's talk about that, Leo. <laughs> it depends on what is needed for balance. What comes to mind primarily for me is like, is sex people going, well, I'm just going to take everything out through this activity because that's, that's what we do. <laughs> and I am not bashing on it at all. You guys, um, at all, at all. What I am saying is that if you're not aware of what you're doing energetically, then you're missing the whole boat here. <laughs> missing the whole boat. Um, 
there are divine feminine and divine masculine ways to participate in that activity, first of all. And being balanced in that approach is also very important. I'm not talking about frequency or anything like that, okay? I'm talking about energy transfer. With the Empress being here specifically, what's being encouraged is to start stepping away from more divine masculine healthy activities, which would be like working out. Um, anything that is extraneous is putting energy out, okay? You're being encouraged to go into a receptive state. So this is going to be anything like meditating, reading a book, going for a walk that's relaxing, calling a friend, talking to a counselor, anything that puts you into a receptive state to receive, because something's coming in too. In order to receive this, you have to be open to receiving it. <laughs> you have to be in a receptive state, a new opportunity. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Leo. Okay, so this is what's hidden for you guys. Hmm. So the High Priestess and Justice, this is what's hidden for you. High Priestess is an energy of, well, unknown information, secrets. It's the unconscious mind. The, um, the High Priestess actually evolves <laughs> like a Pokemon. <laughs> The story goes, um, the high priestess marries the magician and they turn into the empress and the emperor. So <laughs> the empress is the next evolution from the high priestess. And the high priestess is the veiled portions of Venus or the unconscious portions of the divine feminine. So what is unknown to you guys right now is your own divine femininity. And I understand that like most of my, um, most of my viewers are female. I do have male viewers as well. And I feel like anyone who's watching this is, is understanding of that concept of like, we have divine feminine and masculine within us. The concept of gender in nature really doesn't actually have anything to do with your parts. Okay. That, that plays into, um, procreation. Yeah. Yep. We need like those physical components to, to make babies. Yes. But when we're talking about the energy that creates the universe <laughs> universes that has nothing to do with your parts. So we are working to balance those within us. What is unknown for you guys here is your ability to tap into that. And I do feel like there's some unknown or secret knowledge. Justice here, I think that's what the secret is, or unknown. Justice is about balance, karma, law and order. Swift justice is something that's coming through on that too. I feel like what it's saying to me, what's unknown is that as soon as you guys can start balancing where you are, are putting too much energy, needing to... Again, and male, female, it doesn't matter who you are. What I'm feeling is you're putting too much masculine energy out there, which is working too hard, pushing yourself to work out too much, um, going, 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 not stopping. So there's a call to, to bring in more of that divine feminine. And as soon as you do, there's swift justice is what I'm getting. Swift justice for you, swift justice for whomever is receiving this justice and energies can be flopped to you guys. If, if you, um, I do feel like this is like a, a balancing of karma nature, but, but I feel like it's whatever cut off your tail, set you off balance here is it's the universe has been working on rebalancing this, but it's like the UPS guy or the Amazon <laughs> delivery person. They're knocking on your door. It's a, you know, they need a signature. And you can't even hear it because you're, you're like blaring all this music inside. You're working too hard. That knock is like a very quiet, divine feminine energy. And if you're not putting yourself into a receptive state to hear that, you're missing the Amazon man, <laughs> which is your justice and your balance. Can we get some clarification on what's hidden here for Leo, please? So I don't... Uh, I don't shuffle them in reversal, but when they do flip around, I do respect that. So four of swords here was you're a virgin, what you were scared of. 
So four swords here came in reverse. What that's telling me is exactly what I was just saying. <laughs> you guys are averse to taking a rest, but as soon as you take a rest, you will get what you need. You'll get what you want. There's something that's already here. Bringing love, yeah, bringing love closer to home, bringing nature, bringing your true nature closer to home, which is balance, balance between divine feminine and masculine. That is our true nature. We come from balance and then we're thrust into these sweaty meat sacks full of farts. We, we signed up for it, but we, we forget where we came from. That's a part of the deal. So yes, you're being encouraged to also with this uh, reverse like this, you're running the risk of impaling yourself. You're hurting yourself. Okay. By not taking a rest is what I'm getting from this. We get some clarification here on let's hit him, please spirit. All will be revealed. Balance, juggling too many things at once, find time for yourself. It's like there's an echo. <laughs> oh, decisions that need to gain uh, clarity through decision making. I feel like it's just really, a, it, it is just about you guys making the decision. So the energy that you need here is the tower and the knight of wands. So tower talks about some sort of change is really at its most basic. That's what it is. Change transformation. It usually, it comes with a cost pain. There's a revelation, a perception, a perception shift that comes at great cost. It could be an upheaval, but the tower comes down because it has to, whether we avoided a natural end on something, death, that is why the tower is coming through, or because the tower was built on shaky ground in the first place, it was, it could never stand. So what I'm getting from this is there's a tower that needs to come down. I feel like for most of you, it's a call for a radical perspective perception shift. Okay. Um, and that comes at a cost to you right now because you have been avoiding this call. You've been avoiding the Amazon man <laughs> or woman, binary, non-binary human. Um, Knight of Wands here talks about spontaneity. It's a creative, passionate energy. There's a note of being too hasty as well with the, with the Knight of Wands. They can get a lot done, which is kind of what it sounds like you guys are doing right now. But they have a hard time. They're more of a sprinter rather than a, a, a long distance runner. And you guys are in a long distance marathon, not a sprint. Life is not a sprint. So I feel like with this, like you're on, you're at risk of being bucked off here. What I'm getting from this being the energy that you need is there, this is a wake up like, hello, <laughs> please pay attention. Okay. I don't feel like, I feel like this tower, I'm going to get clarification, getting bucked off the radical perception shift that comes at great cost is from you not taking a break. Okay. If you continue to push yourself and push yourself, your body, eventually the forces that are will require balance. There's nothing that you can do about that. That's just a part of the rules of, of this simulation that we're, we're in. So if you guys do not seek balance yourself, which is what's hidden here, you're juggling too many things at once, you will impale yourself and the tower will fall. Down will come baby, <laughs> cradle and all. <laughs> Can we get some clarification on the energy that's needed here for Leo, please, spirit? Okay, so Ten of Pentacles and Two of Swords is what comes through here. Ten of Pentacles is your um, legacy. It's ultimate, ultimate material and spiritual abundance. I'm actually getting more of the reverse quality of this right now as you guys are running the risk of losing something very major. Didn't we almost have it all? Is a song that's coming <laughs> is coming to mind for me. Um, the Two of Swords talks about balancing two enterprises or or not enterprise energies. These two swords that the individual is holding, they 
they have to hold them in balance. Like it's, they're very heavy in order to keep that, but they're also blindfolded. So I feel like those of you that this applies to, you're not paying attention to signs. I feel like there are signs and you're not paying attention because the balance that you're needing to achieve is your interior realm and your exterior realm, divine feminine, divine masculine. But because you're focusing on the divine masculine only, like that sword is getting heavier and this other one, they end up losing grip over and slice their cheek open, you know? <laughs> Um, I just feel like there is, this isn't a loss that you want to incur by avoiding loss, whatever it is that happened for this regeneration here, you guys are bringing in more loss on the flip side of that though, you take care of this and like, there is some good shit, some really good shit that's already here. Like I said, Amazon man's already at the door. So if you have started paying attention to this already and you're doing something about it, good on you, Leo. That is the best thing for you to do right now. I feel like, because this, this talks about your legacy, you know, your destiny for me is what this, what this is as well. You, it's not that you're going to lose it, but this is like a, you've been making baby steps forward, like forcing yourself forward at great cost already. And this is going to be like 30 steps back. On the flip side of that, if you can take a break, when you take a break, take a rest, you're going to be recharging an energy that you need, a creative energy that you need in order to tap into your legacy here. The, um, the pentacles are arranged in a Kabbalah tree as well. The first access point getting through this tree is through, well, sex, but sexual energy, creative energy. And that energy is not, I was talking about that earlier with sex, that energy, when you have sex and you release that energy by finishing, climaxing, that is not access into this tree. Sex is great. Releasing that energy, well, you got you to recharge it again. That's the kundalini energy that comes up the spine. When you build that up, if you want to look into it, white Tantra, pink Tantra, gray Tantra, those are all ways to build that energy. What I'm getting in large S, what I'm saying is just that you guys are, you're running the risk of burning that energy out and you need it. You need it. Can we get some clarification on um, how does Leo get the energy that they need here? Abundance, an inflow of money, love, or rewards. I think there's another one here. The love component is what's standing out to me. Like I had just, like I just said, getting, becoming aware of having intention around your energy and what's going on instead of just floating around here <laughs> with no awareness or um, understanding of what you're doing is really, really crucial to what you're doing here. Fear, expecting the worst, afraid of failure, wasting time on negative thoughts. So I feel like the encouragement is leap of faith, taking a, taking a risk, stepping into the beauty of the unknown. Try something new here, you guys. Realignment, shift your perspective for gain sense of clarity. Um, not to like, the reason I bring up sex is just because that's that energy, that is our life force energy, okay? That's what's being talked about here bringing that into greater balance. Look it up, look into it. I don't want to talk too much about it. There's some great videos on it here on YouTube as well. And I'm not encouraging anything with children either. Like I know I have many different kinds of viewers. I'm talking about things between adults. Okay. We're talking about uh, decisions that are made between consenting and understanding adults. Okay. But look into it. This is what's coming through as, as, as far as something you need right now. Take a look, stop doing things because you just have a carnal drive to do it. Understand what you are, start learning. This will absolutely change your life. Okay.
just look into it. I just feel very, very strongly encouraged to say that. Ten of Wands comes up here again. Knight of Pentacles and Ten of Wands. This is where it leads or what it's good for. Um, releasing a burden, uh, something that's heavy on your heart. This uh, Didn't this come up in... Where was your Ten of Wands? Yeah, in the general. Um, so we talked about, and Knight of Pentacles was in there as well, actually. There's an offer. I feel like there's an offer. As soon as you can release what it is you need to, and I feel like that's the expectation that you have on yourself to push, 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 go, 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 or to be blind, <laughs> to do, do things without awareness, to be purposefully obtuse, to maybe feel a call that there's something that you ought to learn or look into more, but you're refusing to do it because I don't know, that's your comfort zone. That's the, um, that's what this is talking about. Releasing that in doing that. There's an offer here. I feel like coming in with the Knight of pentacles, an ability to, to overcome where you've been to put into practice, something that's stronger, more resilient, more consistent, harder, better, faster, stronger. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Your balance. Can we get some clarification on where this leads, please? Any more information for Leo on where this leads? What is the Ten of Wands here, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Hermit. Yep. So the Hermit talks about um, finding the inner guiding light through solitude, going within oneself. It's like um, a winter of life. We're going into winter here soon, where I live. The winter of life is about bringing the energy from outside back inside. Okay. Think of like a plant in the winter. That's what I'm seeing. Things go dormant. All of the energy that is expended to create the leaves, to create the ability to make chlorophyll and the energy that it needs in a time where there is light, it brings all of that back into its central being in order to reserve it for when it needs to give it back out in the spring and the summer. So there's a, there's a need to respect a winter in your life right now. That's the regeneration. But for those of you that this message is for, I'm feeling very much that you're still trying to push, push, push. Like I said, you're putting that energy out, putting it out, putting it out. And it is exhausting you. It's killing your life force energy. Um, can we get some more clarification here on where this leads? How does Leo get to the outcome here? What does Leo need to know? Wrong deck. Okay. How does Leo get to this outcome here? Mm, what is Leo's guiding light? Mm, Ten of Swords. So, whatever cut your tail off here, this is meant to be a redirection, is what I'm getting. Whatever has happened tower moment pain ten, ten of swords is um like rock bottom you may have hit a rock bottom recently but it's loss and pain i feel like uh, with the ten of swords as well there's like an identity or, or a, a connection or addiction to that energy that pain some people use it as um, they're getting attention for it and they need that attention from themselves really to tend to this. And that's turned outwardly if you're not used to going in and taking care of your own needs. Some people will avoid it so much that it still dominates their experience and existence. That's why balance is being requested here. Either way, there's an avoidance of going inside. Okay. They're both ways of dealing with it from the outside and that is not ever 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 going to help so you're being encouraged to have some courage leo that's you you are courage tap into the light sides light side of your being and ask for help too 
talk to your your guides. I was going to say three of swords and their strength. There you are. <laughs> oh, man. So three of swords and strength. This is your challenge or what's blocked, your energy that's blocked. Um. So whatever this was, tower or three of swords is what I was going to say. But um, so this is, yeah, whatever has hurt your heart, whatever has hurt you, loss, heartache, heartbreak. Maybe there's a component in your life or of you that was removed without your choosing, or you could have been involved in making that choice, which makes it even harder. It's like a self-betrayal to deal with there or owning, owning your, your ownership, your onus in a situation can be very, very difficult. So three of swords here. Yes. The intention of the three of swords is to heal from it and is to pull those swords out of your heart, out of the divine heart. And that's something that we all being the divine heart, we all have the responsibility to heal because we are all connected to the divine heart. So when we heal ourselves, we heal the divine heart, we heal the collective. We are all responsible for doing that. So this is something that you not only have a responsibility to yourself to do, but to everyone, which is also you, <laughs> because we are all the divine heart. The strength here, this is you, Leo, this is your card. So your power, kind of bringing that back to that kundalini energy or your chi your power is blocked right now and that is because you are blocking it by refusing to tend to in a healthy way through healthy activity and in this case that is through a divine feminine balance you need something divine feminine to balance this out whatever it is whatever it is you're being asked to have courage. You need courage to get through this. Love winning over hate is blocked right now. And this could be for some of you, there is that hate is towards yourself. Like I said, maybe you made a choice, whether it was like losing a job and you, you left a job to go to this job and it ended up get screwing you over a relationship um whatever that hate could be towards you and someone else because you feel like you're to blame or, or whatever and for others of you it may be more outwardly or outward to anyone else the point is that is blocking your ability to let love in strength also talks about the higher mind higher processes of existence overcoming lower animal instincts Again, I feel brought back to expressing sexual energy there, you guys. How are you using that? Or how are you not? Now is a time to become aware of what you are. And that is not just a clump of cells that's floating around here on a rock, paying off credit cards. <laughs> I highly encourage you to start um, reading, looking into what you are as an energy, like I said, okay? Um, Spirit, how does Leo clear this block or get through this challenge? The woman in the card as well with like overcoming the animal instincts, they do it with, uh, gent they do it gently, okay? I feel very much like if there is aggravation or frustration or anger in anyone, what if you made it this far and you're watching, I feel encouraged to say um, that already is your lower animal instinct. That's a protective emotion. Okay. I am not your enemy. I am on your side. I am here to help <laughs> three of swords. So please um, take that into consideration is what I'm trying to say. If there is resistance, then there is truth. So three of swords, your way through clearing the block, just like I was saying earlier, this is the divine heart and your responsibility is to pull those swords out of the heart. So you're being encouraged to start tackling that whatever, whatever is hurting 
And this could be something that you've been hanging on to for years and years and years, childhood, teenhood, young adulthood, all the way up through more mature adulthood. Whatever it is, you're being asked to take a leap of faith and to start receiving love back in, letting that love heal whatever was hurt. Can we get some more direction here for Leo, please, Spirit? Wrong deck. How does Leo clear this block? Work on this challenge. Spread your wings, confidence that leads to freedom and growth, and twin flame, a spiritual connection between you and your twin flame. So for some of you um, with spread your wings here, you're being asked to try something new. And this, this everything I'm saying here may be new information for you. It may all be new. You're being asked to take a leap of faith. Trust in the unknown. Trust that the there are components of the unknown. And that's the high priestess here too. There's information that you are not ever privy to. You don't have access to because as a human, we could never. We could never be the forces that so intricately combine everything. <laughs> it's impossible. So having faith in that component of the unknown is very important. Spreading your wings. It's very like fool energy to me, jumping off the cliff here. You may be having a hard time spreading your wings because there are swords in them. <laughs> You're being encouraged to look at this. And for some of you, twin flame, spiritual connection between you and your twin flame, this may have to do with an encounter that you had with your twin flame that didn't work out and that you're still recovering from. The purpose of a twin flame, if you have a twin flame and have run into them, is to learn where you need to heal. So if, if this is you and that's something that you've been stuck on, you're being encouraged. <laughs> you're being encouraged to look at it for what it was. It was the point was to show you where you need to heal. And if you're continuing to either avoid that pain or fixate on it, focus on it, either way, you're missing the whole point. You're missing the whole point of being here, which is to learn, to grow, to heal. There's not like a, you know, well, it's not that you're going to fail anything. My point here is just like, you guys had the, the Egyptian eye, okay? This is about your sight. This is about something very psychically and spiritually attuned. And if you're struggling with this, this is severely impacting your ability to see the truth with your, with your third eye, with your mind's eye. I feel very strongly that you're, you're, you're seeing only through your physical eyes right now. And you may even feel that you have the ability for more things, but you're telling yourself that like, this is it. And that is just um, a crime almost to yourself. <laughs> That's an act of violence against yourself. Listen to your intuition, you guys. Like I said, if, if any of this is making you angry, please understand that that is not the, I am not taking time out of my day here to upset somebody. This is very precious energy that I'm expending and I'm doing it because this matters to me, because you matter to me, because I want you to matter to you too. That's the whole point of all of this. I love you. So your blessing here for the month, I may have been saying week, this is for December, okay? Your blessing is the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands. The Ten of Swords is bringing me back to where this leads here with the Ten of Swords. I see that you, you will overcome this if you put in the work, if you switch into a more receptive mode. Start letting vision come back to you, okay? Pay attention to your dreams right now, I feel like, especially. What are your dreams telling you? What is it that you are running away from? If this applies to you, this isn't going to apply to every single Leo, but this is a strong message for, for some of you, okay? So um, the blessing here with the Ten of Swords is I feel like you'll finally be walking away from that situation that cut your tail off. Maybe you're cutting your own tail off. 
constantly as it's regenerating right now. The Nine of Wands is the um, like wounded warrior, exhausted, tired warrior. They've been defending whatever it is they're building for so long. They've been putting this energy into something that matters to them. Resilient. They've been resilient. And it talks about you're almost there. Success isn't quite here yet, but you're almost there. So the blessing I feel like here is like, one of these swords may even be like got two in your eyes and one in your third eye here. Removing these swords is going to allow you to see that you're almost there. That's your blessing. And that's a blessing to go from being blind to having sight. Sight for the blind. Not to be ableist. That's not, this is a, a metaphoric, okay? Um, because even individuals who are physically blind have sight, <laughs> have third eye sight. That's what I'm talking about. Spiritual sight for the spiritually blind. Sight for the blind. Can we get some clarification here, please, on the blessing for Leo? How does Leo get this blessing? Balance. <laughs> Two of pentacles. You're being asked to balance. And that was in your energy that was unknown here to what's hidden. The need for balance. You guys are juggling too much. You're putting too much on one side of the plate because <laughs> there's broccoli on the other side. And so you're trying to cover it up with whatever else. You don't want to eat your broccoli. You got to eat your broccoli, you guys. <laughs> if you can do whatever you want, honestly. If you got to do this, if you want to be the badass that you are, that you were meant to be, that you came here to be. That's the whole point. Any other additional input on the blessing here for Leo, please, Spirit? Stress, cleanse, and detoxify from unnecessary commitment. So we're just going around here at this point. <laughs> Whatever it is that you guys are balance needing to detoxify stressful commitments that's going to be that divine masculine energy like i said whatever you guys are pushing towards to run away from try to just stop doing it just stop like just stop because if you don't it will be stopped for you <laughs> and that i don't i'm not calling that into your life that's not a, a threat um you can bet <laughs> This is the energy that is attached to when you pursue something that is so off balance for so long. Nature will always demand balance. There will always come a time to pay the bill. So pay it yourself before somebody forces it from you. The universe forces it from you. That's what I'm getting. You guys can absolutely do this. And those of you that, like I said, if you are already working on this pro process, good on you because this is some seriously good shit that you're being thrust towards. I love you so much, Leo. I know you can do this, okay? Have a wonderful, wonderful month, and I will see you guys here for the weeklies. Okay? Love you. Bye.